What's up guys, it's Jensen and today is November 14th, 2018. This is probably the hardest video for me to film, but uh, I hope that it helps some people out. So for those of you who didn't know, I was on Accutane for six months and for a long time, up until like now, really, um, I've been putting off making a video about this just because like, you know, I want to show you before and after photos and that's the really hard part for me. I'm sure you can imagine why showing your biggest insecurity to a bunch of people can make you like a little nervous. <laughs> so by the way, disclaimer, uh, I know my acne was hormonal because I started doing testosterone injections because I am a transgender man. If you have any questions regarding that, go check out like any of my other videos. This doesn't mean that this video is aimed only towards trans people. I'm just letting you guys know that the type of acne that I had was purely hormonal. Anyway, before my hormonal acne came along, I never really dealt with bad acne or any skin issues in general. It was fairly normal. You know, I'd get a few spots here and there, usually around the ends of my lips, like near my cheeks. But honestly, I didn't really complain about pimples too much. Being on hormones, I was breaking out a little bit, but kept telling myself, you know, it'd be fine, it's not that bad. It wasn't until about two months in that I started breaking out badly enough that I knew I had to go see a dermatologist. I mean, it wasn't like I wasn't washing my face or drinking water or eating well. It was purely the hormones. I had my first doctor appointment and was given a moderate cream to help with the acne. So I gave that a shot and that didn't work out. So until my second appointment, I actually ended up being prescribed Accutane. I got home from that second appointment and I had to talk about how I felt, both physically and emotionally, because I literally isolated myself from everybody. The only person that I had to talk to was my camera, and even that was really, really hard. Also, I just started hormones in these next few videos, so my voice um, is, a little, is a little higher. Alright, so uh, today is May 30th, 2017, and there's a few reasons why I haven't um, been posting anything, but I've been really self-conscious, like really, like I've never been this low ever, ever, ever in my life, so it's just, it's all really bad. Um, it makes me want to not do anything except just be here to myself in my room which really sucks and it's really depressing my face really hurts so if I'm talking funny that's kind of why I'm I mean I can probably open it wider but like on the outside feels like like if I had just had Botox or something like it's really thin and stretched out my cheeks look really inflamed everything's just everything's really bad and I don't like it so I, I love my friends and I love hanging out with my friends and I know my friends love me no matter what but it's very hard for me to be around them and love myself no matter what and whatever and I can imagine how I am I can imagine how I would be if I didn't have acne and that's what sucks is that I imagine this person and I can't be that person because I because of me like nobody else is telling me that I can't be that person but I'm telling myself you can't be social because you can't look people in the eye, you can't talk to people, like blah 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 blah. At this point, I haven't even started Accutane yet, but I was prescribed it already. My face felt sensitive and sore almost from all the pimple popping that the dermatologist did. So this is the hard part here. Fair warning in advance, I had been on Accutane for almost a month and the purge process was in full effect by the end of that month. I could only sleep on my back and if there was any wind, it would really bother my face. My lips became dry almost instantly, like within the first two weeks, they were a desert. It was creeping up to places I never even used to get a single pimple. But that was the hardest hill to get over. At two months, my skin was noticeably better, way less bloody scars and stuff. I still had dermo uh, appointments every two weeks to get rid of the underlying acne, I guess. Uh, but new acne stopped coming. I remember taking this photo because it was the first photo in a long time where I thought I looked alright, you know? As far as the actual acne, I had 
very little at three months. Most of the issue now was the redness, but as my doctor told me, Accutane makes it hard for your skin to pigment itself automatically. Four months in and my main concerns were the dryness of my skin everywhere. My scalp, my lips had cuts on the corners, my joints were aching. Eye drops always helped. The last month of my Accutane journey, I realized how thin my skin was and how easily damaged it could get from the sun or from everyday scratches. By the way, my skin looks oily in these pictures because I constantly put moisturizer on with SPF, very important. At this point, I just wanted to be off of it already. One, because I wanted to drink alcohol, and two, because I wanted my skin to become normal again. The redness did go down a lot after being off of Accutane for a month, but the scarring showed up more as the skin settled in. The side effects had pretty much gone back to normal at this point. Today, my skin is like anybody else's, I would say. Oily at the most inconvenient times. I do get breakouts still. My face gets a little rosy when it's hot, but still much happier with this than with that. No one really talks about how having severe acne can mentally scar you and actually change your perspective on like not only life and it's much more difficult problems, but also on people. When somebody has an insecurity or any body image issue, I have way more empathy now than I did before because like I, I get it now, you know? You're in this hole that no one can get you out of. No one can tell you that you look fine or that it's okay or that it will be okay because at the end of the day, you probably won't believe them or it'll be really, really hard to anyway. Just like most people, I YouTubed some videos about Accutane or bad acne stories and a lot of them did make me feel better. Like, oh wow, I'm, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one that's bummed out this much over this one specific issue. A few of them I will link down in the description just in case you want more info and or advice. But I hope sharing my story helps at least one person to understand that it'll be okay and that it's not the end of the world. By no means am I saying that I have perfect skin now because I definitely do not, even after Accutane, but I do know how to deal with having bad skin better now. This is super corny, but the quality that attracts most people is confidence. So, you know, do what you will with that. If you guys have any questions about literally anything that I mentioned in this video, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you are bored or just want to stalk my life, feel free to follow me on social media. It's Jensen Crab across everything. Don't forget, make it a good day today, guys, and I will see you soon.